what would what will the, be the biggest impact in our industry over the next uh, 10 15 20 years and i think mm. it's fundamentally going to change all our roles and I, i've never thought about it in the sense that well our profession might not necessarily be needed anymore it'll it'll, it'll pivot to something completely different perhaps and and quantity surveying as we know it uh, won't exist but uh, it'll but it'll pivot into something something different it'll we'll call it something different perhaps um, yeah you still need the people the domain understanding of what's going on but it was ever thus you know i mean the quantity survey of today is very different from the quantity survey of the 1910s yeah. you know it's it evolves yeah. but i think the difference is it's the speed of change mm. that's going to be very very different there, there, there's another there's another good book which i would advise people to read by um the suskins father and sons it's called the future of the professions mm. it was written quite a while ago actually but it's you know that is that's the best kind of prediction of where the professions might be in in the next few years i when you talk about 15 20 years i i i kind of stop predictions mm. after sort of five or ten years because i think when you start looking at 15 20 year time span not just in our professions i think you're going down a rabbit hole which is so because by then we will have this artificial super intelligence mm. so it's so hard to predict where we'll be so where we are at the moment is Open AI, the guys who released ChatGPT, they released a roadmap, five-step roadmap to effectively artificial general intelligence. The first step one was your chatbots, which mm. is your ChatGPT. And then step two was the reasoning capabilities. So that's the, the latest models that have come out. They don't just chat to you. They can actually reason and they can think. And actually, Open AI just released a new one yesterday called deep learning mm. which can produce a, a phd level report with citations and everything um you, you know within a few minutes so we're firmly past level two mm. level three is the agentic which is what we're starting to people are starting to experiment with agents when you get to level sort of four and five you are going to this concept called agi which is artificial general intelligence and and there's different definitions of it but it basically means that we're uh, AI is as good or better than humans at most tasks. Mm. And we're going to get there very soon. Whether that's one year, two year, three years mm. is up for debate, but it's it, it, we're, we're very close to getting to some concept of AGI. The step after that is called ASI, which is artificial super intelligence. Um, that's where I'll stop making predictions <laughs> because <laughs> we do get into terminated territory because what we haven't yeah. talked about... We're, well, it is because, you know, we've talked about AI, but when you actually look at all the other technologies along coming alongside that, like robotics and for construction, that's going to be huge. Mm. When you embed the, this AI technology within humanoid robots, who are then going to be building a lot of the buildings that we have over the course of the next decade, mm. then you're fundamentally changing the game. Mm. Um, so you've got to look at it in the whole. You've got to look at all the technologies that are sort of rising up together at the same time. Mm. It makes it it makes it interesting and scary at the same time. Looking at a future like yeah. that of something that's completely different. We talk about a lot about solving the 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 labor supply issues and the skills shortage issues and and the inefficiencies. But if we can implement again, if if you're talking about AI that has the the ability to to write a PhD uh, level report in in, in seconds, um, mm -hmm. we've, we're already surpassed what we can do as humans, and somehow we need to leverage that. There's a line I heard a couple of uh, weeks back on a podcast was that the uh, the next level or next layer um, of of need from a, a business perspective from a from a hu that humans can give is that is the that um, that soft approach, not that hard skill, but it's the soft skills, the the management of people, the management of of emotions, the management of of yeah. of um, interaction, if you like, the emotional intelligence, exactly that emotional intelligence uh, component, and that and that's going to become top of the list in, in in anybody hiring people in the future, and and we're not sure we're teaching that at the moment to a level that's probably necessary it's always about the hard skill and, and if I, ai is, is going to uh, improve and or remove the need for those hard skills we need to be focusing within our education on the on the softer stuff that emotional intelligence component and i find that interesting yeah. as well actually you know uh, how it's very interesting it goes back to that concept of behavior you know the this technology will enable us to change behaviors because you know when you're in a site meeting or whatever it is some of the behaviors as we've talked about yeah. sometimes yeah. aren't acceptable yeah. and because 
that's people dealing with um, opinions. Yeah. So you'll be, he said that, he said that, and then some two people will fall out. When you take that away, so you're dealing with data yeah. and you're dealing with fact, that changes the behaviors because then you deal, then you can think about solutions to the issue rather than two people blaming each other about something that happened that was reported a month ago that happened two months ago and yeah. someone's yeah. trying to take the blame. So I'm optimistic from that point of view that it is going to change behaviors. And you're right. We need people. The, the one thing that artificial intelligence is going to find very, very difficult to replicate is, is human mm. emotions mm. and human intelligence. And you're still going to need that because you're still going to need somebody in charge of the building mm. and you're still going to have a client who's going to be in charge of the business case. And those two people are still going to need to interact, mm. but we can elevate what we do as construction professionals.